2020. Empty planners, market bids go well, piece of decent day up two and a quarter percent. Off the best levels, hey, still up two and a quarter percent. Nonetheless, as you can see, this actually puts them well above their bow tie moving averages. This is why we wait for entries. Also, by the way, it's something like a moving average that has a little bit of lag built in can help to keep you out of trouble. In other words, keep you from chasing your own tail, becoming too bullish or too bearish too quickly. Take a look at NASDAQ, decent day there. As you can see, moving average is turning right back up. Futures are up huge pre-market basis of P's, so we could see some follow-through at least on the open. Unfortunately, though, they're beginning to wane a bit, so we'll see if we get an opening gap reversal there. Take a look at the Rusty, not really bringing up the rear of Flatsville there, but not too far from its recent highs in here. Drugs, biotech, health services, all had bang-up days. Health services right at all-time highs. All in great in the world, world, though some areas like the transports look like they could be rolling over in here. This is especially true for the railroad. So what do we do? Well, for now, I think we should focus on the long side, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of setups to get excited about. So let's just think, let things shake out a little bit and make sure we get some follow-through. Any questions, david.com. I'm Dave Landry, and you just heard of Mark Bennett. See you in the show.